What size distinguishes bully from blebs? These images, including a frontal chest radiograph on the left and coronal chest CT on the right of a patient with a right spontaneous pneumothorax, shows right apical bullae or blebs, typically found on imaging of affected patients. Now, what the heck are blebs and bullae? Well, bullae and blebs are generally indistinguishable from each other on imaging. However, some distinguish based on size, and that's arbitrarily one centimeter. A bleb is a small gas-containing space within the visceral pleura or in the subpleural lung, not larger than one centimeter in diameter. A bullae appears as a thin, walled, cystic airspace contiguous with the pleura. Because the arbitrary size distinction between a bleb and a bulla is of little clinical importance, the use of this term by radiologists is sometimes discouraged. Nevertheless, a bullae is an airspace measuring more than one centimeter, usually several centimeters in diameter, and it's sharply demarcated by a thin wall that is no greater than one centimeter in thickness. A bullae is usually accompanied by emphysematous change in the adjacent lung. We'll talk about bullous emphysema in another video. For example, this coronal chest CT shows a large bullae in the left lower lung zone. Here's a composite image with axial contrast enhanced CT of a patient with a left upper lobe bullae, which became secondarily infected. There's a thin walled retrosternal bullae completely filled with air. Subsequent studies show an internal air fluid level with a bullae that progressed to completely fluid filled bullae secondary to infection. This axial chest CT of a patient with benign metastasizing leiomyoma and left upper lobe giant bullous disease shows a large left apical air filled space with internal septations. Holy moly! The frontal chest x ray of a patient on the left presented with acute left chest pain in the spontaneous left pneumothorax. There's a visible pleural line and a large bullet in the left lung apex, likely responsible for the pneumo. The coronal chest CT on the right shows the left pneumothorax and a cluster of large left apical bullet. Paraseptal emphysema with giant bullet disease is one of the causes of secondary spontaneous pneumothorax. Wow, you now know a ton about bloods and bullet. Please subscribe for more awesome anatomy and radiology videos.